You mentioned you have a LinkedIn course. Yeah. Uh, your LinkedIn prospecting course. What can you tell us about that? And you know, what, what should people, what are, I mean, we all know the connect and pitch thing isn't working. So <laughs> and I, I saw your post today, <laughs> just saying, uh, just because I connected with you and accepted your invite doesn't mean it's a green light to start pitching me. And I feel yeah. the same way, but I'm sure your course is more holistic than that. So what can you tell us about it without giving away the goodies? I'll give you the goodies. I give it all away. Um, the the strategy that I follow, and I stumbled on this, was connect, share, and engage. Um, what I mean by this is that LinkedIn, um, I, so I'm a, a part of the content creator with LinkedIn, and I had a coach with LinkedIn, and I was able to connect with him, and he was coaching me, and I was like saying, um, he said, you know, uh, it was some stats saying like um, how many uh, the percentage of people who engage, who post on LinkedIn. LinkedIn tend to be the platform where people, a lot of passerbys, but they don't necessarily want to post, but it was 1%. And he said, this was a 2019. He's like, no, the actual number now is 2%. Um, and so think about the way from when the LinkedIn first started way back then to where it was in 2019 at December, 2019, 2% 2 of LinkedIn users were posting content regularly on the platform, 2%. Wow. So 2% of people were getting billions of views and just to understand how social media work. So if let's say that there's a, you know, I'm making this up, 10 billion views this week and 2% of people, that 10 billion uh, views are going to those 2% of content producers, people that are posting stuff on LinkedIn. I don't want to give, you know, let the cat out of the bag. If everybody else don't want to take advantage of it, it's like, a, it's kind of like the wild, wild west um, with LinkedIn. So you, right now, so you could, you can get a lot of land um, if you're sharing relevant content. So I was like, holy crap. And then the other thing with that too, even one of our clients came through our course he was saying, man, I'm posting stuff, but I'm not getting people. When he did a basic audit and look at who was he on this platform, you know, if you're just filtering your your um, your um connections, he saw that maybe, I think it was like maybe 10, 20% of his connections were actually people who could be ideal customers. And I was okay. like, that's a problem right there. So what you want to do on a day-to-day -day basis, you want to send personalized connection requests, even if it's just five to 10 personalized connection requests to people who are going to be your ICP, that even if it's just an ICP, they ain't got to be all the triggers and all that stuff but yet, but just ICPs. I need people who potentially could buy from me to see the content that I'm going to share. So daily setting that up. So let's say I reach out to five people a day over the course of a week, 25 individuals, a course of a month, a hundred individual, I'm talking five days a week here. And let's say half of those people accept my connection requests. That's not pitching right there, guys. It's just building your base. So now I have uh, uh, 50 people that are VPs of sales that are connecting back with me and that are open to, you know, my Are you content. putting any special note in there? Are you blind connecting? Are you reassuring them? I no. promise there's no pitch to follow. Oh, I, I do. I joke with that sometimes, but I personalize. And then one of the things that I teach, there is a, I'll give you a quick example of this. I learned it on a webinar that I did with Sales Hacker and I can't take credit for it. I think it was Mandy. I can't remember her last name now, um, but the company that she was with, they're talking about how that one of their BDRs were focusing on doing a connection request based on location. So let's mm -hmm. say you're in uh, LA, right? Uh, Northern California. North, mm -hmm. So Northern California. Mm -hmm. What city exactly? Uh, Turlock. No one on here is probably <laughs> going to know it, but I'm two hours east of uh, San Francisco. So I might find something on Turlock. Maybe it's a couple restaurants in 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 Turlock, and I might say, "Hey, Derek, I never heard of Turlock before, but you know, we're planning to go through the uh, go <laughs> to the Redwoods. Get my attention. <laughs> you know, but you know, we're we're planning to go to the Redwoods, which we really were." Um, and don't know if quite that far, but if I get off the beaten path, any restaurant you recommend that I check out, or I, you know, is is uh, ABC um, Diner really worth the the you know the hype? And you know, it starts conversation. But if you can find something based on location, another one is like Miami, folks you might say, um, hey, um, out of curiosity, um, is there what's the best spot in Miami to get a Cuban coffee if I'm st if I'm uh, if I'm if I have a long layover? You got to go to the spot. People love to talk about their place, but it's a unique personal connection. Right, right. And I was like, that's genius. So I did one with Atlanta and I tested it out with this kid trying to get in touch with his boss. So I um, said to him, hey, Varsity Burger, um, is it uh, is it really worth the hype? Um, and we did a PS permission to connect here on LinkedIn. 
he accepted my connection, my connection request. And that's where most people go pitch, but uh, he's not even a decision maker. But I said to him, uh, so thoughts, dot, dot, dot. And he was like, yeah, you can definitely go to varsity as long as you can go to the bathroom afterwards. <laughs> Just <laughs> keeping it real. <laughs> his and then his boss later on responded to my message. Cause I'm sure that circulated amongst their small sales team or had a conversation. Right. And then next thing you know, I got the appointment. The point is it was a personalized and you don't have to use your creativity. Is, I mean, that's the yeah. thing too. You're using creativity. And it, mm -hmm. It doesn't require a lot these days, but all you have to do is just maybe you could based on location, maybe something. Don't just don't just I see you went to the University of Maryland, like give something maybe specific um, that you that they could relate to as a human being um, or as a default. I tell them, hey, I, I I use this one. I don't have a really cute message. I don't have a, um, a, a, a cute uh uh, connection request. I just saw that you're in my industry and look like somebody cool that I'd like to learn from. Promise not to pitch you. Permission to connect. I got one of those pitch. just yesterday. It was exactly yeah. that. You know, yeah. I promise there's no pitch to follow. It was somewhere in the message. Yeah. It was, you know, it looks like we're in the same space. Thought we might connect. And look, that's what we're here to do. People are going to LinkedIn to learn for yeah. jobs and to network. Those are like the top three things that were that, that it's all designed around, right? And what people are really engage with there. So if you're immediately going to let me sell you something, then it's just, I mean, I hate to use the, you know, beat up example of walking to a bar and trying to holler but at somebody works. and it's just immediately true. just saying, Hey, you want to, you want to go home with me or whatever, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's just come on, you know, it does, buy yeah. me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> that analogy just works over and over yeah. because it's just gets people, it makes so much sense. Um, and, you know, here's the thing, what I've seen with it though, I'm willing to accept a, a pitch from salespeople if that pitch is good enough, but not necessarily, I don't want that in a, it's going to give me a major turnoff if it's going to be a LinkedIn, like, you know, connect and pitch. But let's say, for instance, I'm connected with you, and then you sent me an email, and you tie something back in of value. I just, some seems like email is just more appropriate. It's like, okay, pitch me there, yeah. rather than on this. But if you say, you know, you know, say, hey, Donald, um, you know, Varsity Burger is going to, is on varsity burger. My subject line might say, um, not going to varsity, dot, dot, dot. You're going to open that email. Like, Derek, um, thank you. I appreciate the insight you gave on varsity. Now I want to give something back to you. <laughs> I, <laughs> right, uh, right. As a new sales leader, one of the things I know many folks are really concerned the hook. about. There's the, that's the hook that you always talk yeah. about. Like, how are you going to hook it in? Exactly. Yeah. Because it's, it's so, yeah, you went to XYZ school. Great. Well, we have this new product that you should check out. <laughs> Whoa, there's the hook. Where's the tie-in, man? Yeah. <laughs> so, but, you know, that gives, that, that makes them have a, at least open to have the conversation with us. So the, the connect idea, again, connect with your ideal customer, build up your base of those people share, share relevant content. All you have to do, we teach people what kind of content they can share once a week. And I'm talk, not talking about being an influencer. I'm just saying a human being, my BDRs do this and they get appointments. LinkedIn polls right now are an easy peasy way. But when I do a poll, I have like one of my polls now, 109 people actually connected uh, and voted on that poll. A lot of them are going to be people, again, who are my ICPs or are seeing my stuff and start conversation. You might vote it on one of them. Derek, man, it's been a minute. How you been? Um, thanks for voting on the poll. Or the latest one that I had was somebody, an uh, example in my inbox right now, somebody was uh, as an ideal customer, they engaged on my post, and then I now I started a conversation. And the conversation message now to them is easy. It was like, hey, BJ, I saw that you engage on my recent post, um, you know, permission to connect here on LinkedIn. <laughs>